Even during his most frenzied days, when Congress is demanding answers or the President himself is calling, Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner makes time to talk to a select group of powerful Wall Street bankers. They're a small cadre of businessmen who have known and worked with Geithner for years, whose multi-billion dollar companies all survived the economic crisis with help from U.S. taxpayers. The Associated Press reviewed seven months of his appointment calendars, obtained under the Freedom of Information Act, offering a behind-the-scenes glimpse at the continued influence of three companies, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Goldman Sachs, whose executives can reach the nation's most powerful economic official on the phone, sometimes several times a day. Critics say Geithner risks succumbing too much to these bankers' self-interested worldview. According to the records, Geithner had more contacts with Citigroup than he did with Representative Barney Frank, the lawmaker leading the effort to approve Geithner's overhaul of the financial system. Geithner's contacts with Goldman CEO and Chairman Lloyd Blankenfein alone outnumber his contacts with Senator Christopher Dodd, Chairman of the Senate Banking Committee. At the New York Fed and then at the Treasury, Geithner helped put together multi-billion dollar taxpayer bailouts for Wall Street investment firms, including Goldman, J.P. Morgan, and Citi. Even banks that have repaid the money still enjoy massive subsidies. Their quick returns to record profits and million dollar bonuses have sparked outrage among the American public.